we're back with part two of Trailer Bait, my trailer. Spikes. Catch, catch and release. Catch and release. <laughs> Throw them back. I caught a blowfish one time did in you? real life, yeah. Did you get spiked? No, but I, I, my dad went after I, we hooked it and it got, we put it on the dock and it puffed up. We, we, I kicked it like a soccer ball, and I kicked it out, and it landed in the water, and it swam away. But I got to kick it like a soccer ball. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Um, my trailer, which I love when this happens, when you know everyone's attracted to the big movies, the blockbusters, the Oscar Ooh. movies, and we're talking about all these seasons and movies. There are movies like this that come in, these quiet ones, and that's, I think, is part of our job doing this show, is to inform some people of some of these quieter movies, under-the-tone movies, these lower-budget independent movies. My movie is called King Jack. Um, independent movie, I believe it was made in 2015, but it's being released in theaters June 10th. Um, very interesting uh, independent movie. Um, there's not much to say in terms of the background of this movie, in terms of the actors, the cast, the director. Not much. The director's only directed a couple movies, nothing big, small budget, short films. Um, no big names at all in this movie, which is my point. Um, I think that kind of inviting to see a bunch of no-name actors, like I'm talking about no-name, let alone we have two kids as the lead roles. And it's it, 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 the trailer, remember the show is about trailers. The trailer is presented in this very uh, gritty way. And I, th I believe, and like I said, I don't want to look into it because I'm just trying to focus what the trailer tells me. It seems to be about bullying, but like old school bullying, like the old, like, you know, getting physically like getting punched yeah. and getting hit harassed like that way. You don't see it that, that much I feel anymore or it's just not covered as much anymore, but it does exist and it does happen. And it's like a coming of age. Like this kid's growing up yeah. and he's like experiencing bullying, um, you know, going through puberty and all this stuff, but it's just, um, it's really done. This, this trailer just shows you like little small segments of, of each one. It doesn't give away too much of a story, but it's just a really good feel for it. Yeah, and I, I feel that there's, from just this, uh, from the trailer alone, you could see there's this older, the older one, maybe preteen, and there's a younger kid, and these seem to be the two main stars. The older kid seems to be the, um, the main focus, and the one gets beat up and stuff like that. And, but at the same time, the younger kid is like the kid who looks up to him or being protected. So I see an audience member can identify with either one of these kids. It's like two ends of the spectrum of growing up. It's like the older brother figure, the innocent figure, the tough kid. You know, it's like you could find some, I guarantee you, it's like you could find, I, I, this is just what I'm perceiving as, that you can identify with one of these characters in this movie. And sure. I think that's what's huge. And it's one of those trailers, too, where you're seeing all the reviews pop up on the screen, like a masterpiece, uh, uh, you know, all these independent films that yeah. pop up. Yeah, Tribeca. Screen. And I, I think that Tribeca. helps. It always helps when you see a bunch of positive reviews. Oh, yeah. And not just from, like, Rolling Stoner bullshit. It's, like, from the Esquire, uh, New York Times or something like that. Yeah, that shit and, pops like, up. It like, one, like... Kane's Film Festival, yeah. It one, tri it like, did well in Tribeca and, uh, and other films, festivals there. Mm. And, I like, I, like, it has no big names, so immediately that, like... It, you, the as a viewer you like blow past another layer like if it's a, there's a big name like you stop at that name but if there's not a big name you go past that mm -hmm. and you're like in the story you're like trying to figure out more about it and um especially if, like the actors have an authentic look it looks like a like a documentary almost like a almost. Cin cinema verite type of like tr just film truth like you're just watching these kids grow up sure you know it's it's you know instead of seeing like the big names titles pop up in the trailer we're seeing these like positive reviews from yeah. established reviewers and independent film um uh festivals which i think i'd rather see <laughs> you know? i agree yeah. yeah i would rather see that i um, think th you you know that like that's other people that have seen it that like it as opposed to a big name that the big name has they'll let you down the, the, the actors will let you down we've yeah. i think we've talked they're about making a living you know yeah well, i think we've talked about this on this podcast too that um I believe we did on one episode that name an actor, name a director, name someone. They've made a bad movie. Yeah. You know, like, and by bad movie, uh, not perceived well, didn't make money or something like that, a bomb, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but, and for whatever reason, like, it doesn't mean like they're a bad actor or whatever the thing that went wrong. Like, maybe they just wanted to do this movie. Maybe they just wanted to work with this person. Maybe they really needed the money. You don't know, but maybe I'm they saying, owed somebody a favor. Sure. You know? Exactly. Or it was in their contract or something like that. Yeah. But the fact is that there is no 
unstoppable actor. Yeah. You're talking about like Anthony Hopkins, a phenomenal actor. He's been in a lot of shit movies. Yeah. Believe it or not. A lot. Um, Maybe phenomenal actor, though. They sign on to a script and then they fire the director. You, know, you never you know. You never know. You never really know. But it's a miracle that something gets made in the first place. It really is. So, uh, King Jack um, got my attention. I don't know. It's very, very small, very low budget, very limited release. I'm going to keep my eye on this one, and that's the thing. It's it's Sometimes it's hard to see a movie, but keep an eye on it. I'll put that in the, the back of your brain. So if you're yeah, a year from now and you have that in the back of your brain, you're going through your Netflix queue, if Netflix still exists in a year, who knows? We can take over. The technology's moving so fast this day and age. Yeah. So and King Jack pumps up and go see King Jack. So King Jack, and then I, I picked The Black Way, uh, which are two smaller films. And then we're, yep. we're going to jump to Trailer Dump, and those are... Those are I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil too much, but those are two bigger films. Big dumps. Which tends to be like a it, they're big dumps. We didn't take big dumps. Nope. They did it for us. They did it for us. But that's it's pretty funny. Like that is. And we're talking about some of our blockbusters of what's popping. You know? Yeah. It's interesting. It's funny, and it's not like we do this deliberately. We don't no. even know what we're gonna pick. No but idea. It's, it just seems as if you know we're we're here to essentially highlight things that we like to see that are smaller under the radar but, but, I mean, where all these big things that are like on every commercial break um look they look terrible and but on, yeah and to be in our defense you know we, on this show for trailer break we've had blockbusters we've we have for like neighbors Two was i think last episode sure. and, and we had civil war on there like we've yeah, had good yeah. trailers big trailers, and we've had i believe we've had independent ones that were bad i don't know if we that's a good question i don't know if we've had independent ones that were bad under yet? Well, I mean, I had like the I'm sure we have. Form, like uh, the the graduation one. Uh, oh well, yeah, yeah. That was more fun though. <laughs> yeah, that was that was. I'll probably still end up seeing that. Yeah, one. yeah. But yeah. I I just think that there's so much noise for the loud ones, and we're the, we're the voice for the quiet ones. Yeah, and I I, t- I think the best way to what Johnny just said is fair. It, it's just we're just it's our opinion. If sure. it happens to be all independence, then that's our opinion. If it's not, it's not. But I think there's a mix. Um, so King Jack, I'm gonna put it in the back of your minds. But now we're gonna. See what big old blockbusters have dumped on us. Coming up next, our second segment, Trailer Dump. Stay tuned.